The ketogenic diet or fasting, which gets you into ketosis faster. In this content, that's exactly to what we'll get the answer, as well as the scientific mechanism for why. If you'd like a science-based answer on if you should fast or try the ketogenic diet to achieve ketosis, I'll give you a science-based answer. So stay tuned. Learn your body, a science-based education. The conclusions I'll be presenting to you in just a minute come from a study wherein the researchers had six participants in a completely controlled environment called a metabolic ward and had them undergo a severely energy-restricted ketogenic diet, consuming fewer than 10 grams of carbohydrates a day for 10 days. After a washout period wherein they returned to a normal diet, inclusive of carbohydrates, they were put on a strict water fast for an equal amount of time, consuming only a multivitamin and non-calorie drinks. Their ketones were measured at the beginning of each phase and at the end and compared. So what did the researchers discover? Were ketones elevated for the fasting condition or the ketogenic condition? Based on the data, the water fasting was much more potent in increasing ketones in the bloodstream, with a rise in ketones occurring in both groups, keto and fasting, at roughly the same time, about two to three days into their respective protocols. However, the fasting condition blasted ahead after the first three days and experienced a huge rise in ketones, while the ketogenic diet saw a modest rise, albeit still a rise. Now, a few things to consider. One, the participants of the study were obese, and although I would venture to guess there would be similar results across the board, we can't make that definitive conclusion without more data. Second, a person might consider 10 days on the ketogenic diet insufficient to get into ketosis, but based on the trend, it seems highly unlikely the ketogenic diet, with a calorie deficit as well, would ever catch up to the fasting condition. Thirdly, regardless, a person can't fast forever, but they can employ a ketogenic diet indefinitely. So the ketogenic diet is a better long-term solution for achieving long-term ketosis, even if it isn't as potent. However, if you are trying to achieve severe ketosis the fastest way possible, water fasting, not to be confused with periodic eating styles of fasting, is your best bet. In explanation, it's quite simple. Consuming any level of food leads to the ability to rely somewhat more on glucose, carbohydrate, metabolism from proteolysis, protein breakdown, and fat nutrient consumption that can be converted to glucose in the liver. When fasting, no ingestion, the glucose carbohydrate stores in the body get depleted maximally and at a maximal rate, leading to a reliance on fat metabolism almost exclusively, thereby stimulating ketone production at a far more furious rate. Bottom line, eating something, even fat focused, will always be inferior to eating nothing in this measure. In conclusion, while both styles lead to the ketosis state, water fasting is superior for achieving the highest levels of ketosis. With that, I hope this proved informative and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. Mm -hmm.